Without further ado, <laughs> I'd like to uh, introduce to you a woman who needs no introduction, our Bishop Melissa. So now we're going to go over to the white sheet, all right? White sheet again. So just to say something about the role of leaders in any system. So whether we like it or not, the impact of leaders on a system is different than other people. It's different. Systems, because of the way they're set up, are wired to be attentive to what leaders do, say, and what their presence is in a system. So we think it's just all of what we talk about. Mm, not really. In fact, some of the more, some of the research about the effect of leaders in systems is that it's oftentimes not just the talk that they talk, but it's how they respond in situations, their particular presence in situations that actually has more impact than just what they say. With that said, what they say is important. <laughs> It is what they say. So systems, uh, leaders in systems influence things very profoundly. Systems take their cues from what leaders do. Uh, a, a way to think about this, as I've said there, is that, that systems, for good or for ill, are geared to watch the leader <coughs> and to respond, either negatively or positively. Uh, um, ah, some system, I'm, I'm trying to pull his name up, uh, talks about that when systems are anxious, the calmness of the leader has the ability to calm it down. When systems are stuck, the ability of the leader to move forward and to get out of that static place, that can provide, at least for a while, the oomph to move forward. So oftentimes leaders provide in systems what the system left to its own devices lacks. It lacks. We often see this when a new leader enters a system and we see what happens. Uh, this is not just true in church systems, it's true in countries, in nations, in other organizations, <laughs> in corporations, <laughs> in nonprofits, in our national church. And, you know, the change in the leader can make such a profound impact, again, for good or for ill. So, I often tell uh, clergy leaders that, and this is a Parker Palmer thing, that because of where leaders are situated in a system, they cast more light or more darkness, depending upon who they are and what they're bringing. An example about this in the realm of money is, uh, if we're frightened about money, if we ourselves have been through something that was quite traumatic about money, uh, we can be bringing that and telegraphing that in some ways that we don't even realize. So there is a kind of obligation as leaders to work through this whole thing of giving and money because, um, wh who was it? I guess maybe it was uh, Peter Elliott in talking to the clergy. He said, you know, that, that it used to be that the most intimate thing we could talk about had to do with sexuality, but in, a in reality it's about money because money carries so many meanings for all of us. So like it or not, as leaders, you have this influence for good or for not quite as good. <laughs> it's a way to think about it. All right, informal, informal ways. So uh, uh, again, I told the clergy this, that, that it's like the sunflower that follows the sun. You know, that's a, a, a phenomenon of nature. Sorry about this, leaders, but you, in some respects get to play the sun with the, the heads of the sunflowers following you. This is, this is the awesome responsibility and opportunity of leadership. So who are the leaders in a parish system? The clergy, not just the priest in charge or the clergy leader. It's, it's all the clergy. The treasurer, <laughs> uh, because of his or her connection to the money and, and the kind of expectations people bring with that. Parish council members, other committee members, and then other people who are in, there may not be formal leaders in the system, but they are leaders in other ways for the system in terms of either the ability to engage the finances or to engage the issue of stewardship or to engage the overall health and direction of the parish. So to me, a parish in which we keep, where we're protecting 
uh, uh, most members uh, or people who attend on Sundays from financial information. What's that about? Whose fear is that? Is it really that the parish can't take it? Or is it leaders' fears coming from whatever? Might be from the history of the parish. It might be from their own personal history. But as leaders, the more, uh, the more awareness we can gain of, our, of the way in which our personal histories are engaging these issues, the more choice we will have about it. And that's my, my feeling about the parish system as well. The more awareness we have, the more choice we'll have. And choice in, in, in these ways are very good. So some of you have heard this before, uh, but I'm a strong believer in the fact that clergy should be fully conversant. This, here's really, I'm talking about the uh, clergy in charge of parishes, you know, for whom this is part of their responsibility should be fully conversant and engaged with financial matters generally. That is, they should know the finances. They should know how to read financial statements. They should know about giving patterns. Yes, they should know what people give. They can hold that confidentially. Uh, they should be fully conversant with that and full participants in giving and encouraging generous giving in the parish. So a stewardship team that does not have uh, the priest in charge in it, it, it is, I think that's misguided. Uh, that, that, that the priest in charge needs to be a part of that team. It needs to be an essential part of that team. You may not have that person chair it. Uh, in fact, it'd be best if they didn't, but if no one emerges, then uh, we, we adjust accordingly. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real believer in that. So this is really about leadership in general in, the ch in our church systems and then just an opinion I have about uh, the role of priests in charge. So I tried to think about, so what for me, and so you're gonna see some similar themes and some maybe different themes here are some kind of dimensions that I think would be important for leaders. Not all of them, uh, all parishes or all leaders uh, will feel like that they could rate themselves really highly on, but I, I do think all of these are pieces uh, that are, are truly important for, for the, particularly the role of leaders in this, in this piece. So what we're going to do is, as I talk about these, we're gonna do some rating so that you can give yourself feedback. So it'll be just a different conversation, won't it? But it'll be useful to have and to hear how other people are. And so I think as we do the assessment, the we you're going to be thinking about is, is your sense of your parish leadership in this. It's your sense of it. It's just an impression. Remember, there's no such thing as a completely right impression. It's just the ones we have. So uh, we'll do that. And then there will be uh, some on, a, on some of these a little bit of, a, of an exercise that will be fun to see how you respond to.